Uh, I don't like the sequester. I think it's uh, it's taking a meat axe uh, to our government, a meat axe to many programs, and it will weaken our. Thousands of jobs this year as the sequester cuts continue to take effect. Congressman Mark Pocan also said today that Madison will be hit especially hard with cuts at UW-Madison. It's not just these cuts. On top of that, through the sequester, uh, we see so many other areas in education uh, and other uh, areas that affect the state. 36,000 jobs are estimated to be lost because of the sequester just in Wisconsin, just between now and September 30th. Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter toured the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard today. She met with shipyard workers and union leaders. She believes the sequestration cuts and furloughs about to take effect will be devastating to the nearly 6,000 workers. A 20% cut for a single parent taking care of two children living in an apartment is devastating. And the sequestration could cause the Northbury Airport to shut down. Congresswoman Frederica Wilson will hold a news conference later today in North Perry Airport to put pressure on the federal government to save the tower. North Perry Airport is one of 149 contract towers across the nation as designated for closure later this year. The tower here is set to close in just four days. Congresswoman Annie Custer met with the National Airport Authority and the local business leaders Wednesday to try and navigate around the closure. Congress made this decision to cut everything across the board and you wouldn't do that in your own business and we shouldn't be doing it as a government. Across the board government budget cuts are hitting home. Members of the Community Action Committee that help low-income people in Santa Barbara County are looking for ways to cut seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars from their budget. And Congressman Lois Capps came to listen. These folks are the specialists. They know what services are there for children and for seniors because that's what they do. Today is World Autism Awareness Day. At Rutgers Douglas campus, medical experts and lawmakers met with parents who are trying to make sure their children have the resources they need. Congressman Frank Pallone was among the group touring the center. He echoed the need to make sure autism research and treatment programs are not affected by spending cuts. It's taking a meat axe uh, to our government, a meat axe to many programs, and it will weaken.